So you want to know how to stay active and healthy during the COVID-19 outbreak? Well, in today's show, we're going to be talking about how you can do it in the safety and comfort of your own home with absolutely no gym equipment needed. All that and more coming up. Hi everyone, in case we haven't met, my name is Brad Burmeister. I'm one of the co-founders of Unity Gym and co-creators of the UMS, Unify Movement System, where we turn driven people into superhumans. And the way we get such astonishing results with our members is that we've created a program that has a perfect balance between strength and flexibility. If you want to know how we do that, download one of the free blueprints, the strength blueprint, the flexibility blueprint, or the nutrition blueprint, or watch the free at-home workouts that are going to be getting live streamed as of tomorrow on YouTube. That's what we're here to talk about today. As always, I'm joined by my brother, Yanni. He's the other co-founder of Unity Gym and the UMS, and Phil, our resident physiotherapist. And Richie behind the camera, running the show. Yes. Uh, and uh, it is a good show. Like This is a super important topic, and it's something that I really want to double down on because um, yeah, it's interesting. We, we had a little brief meeting with uh, one of Phil's friends, who's an MD, who we're hoping to get on the show next week. Uh, if, mean, if there's no lockdown, that means medical doctor. If uh, anybody medic, didn't yeah, know that, yeah. And um, oh. yeah, he actually highlighted a point that we hadn't really even discussed, which is such a passion project for me, which is mindset and how it's going to affect people's psychology. Um, being put into lockdown and having their daily exercise routine interrupted, and and then you know we spoke about this a little bit ourselves about the compounding effect that can result because we're all stockpiling highly processed carbohydrate dense nutritionally poor foods that are going to have to be eaten at some point you know all those canned baked beans and pasta and all that crap that we're we seem we seem to be hoarding at the moment because there's none at the supermarkets <laughs> uh is um yeah it's all going to have to get eaten and that's like really calorie dense food you know that you can eat a lot of because uh, it's just not very satiating and um, uh, you know so couple that without exercise and, and more sedentary lifestyles than we're used to because we're not commuting anymore Phil made a very valid point yesterday about that you know and holy crap we are we got the perfect shitstorm for ill health you know well, it's not even um, if you're going to be not exercising when you're used to exercising even if you're not used to exercising but now you're caged to your apartment you're going to go crazy. And I couldn't think of, like, people have so many excuses and so many reasons as to why they don't get started exercising. I couldn't think of a better time to get started exercising. And, um, yeah, that's what these workouts are there for, right? Yeah, exactly. Like, as, as I did mention yesterday in the, um, in the show, like, the exercise and, and health often goes in a bit of a spiral where when you do one health, positive health behavior, it makes it much easier to do the next. And, you know, I mentioned yesterday about, you know, when you get your exercise in, it's easier to get to sleep because, you know, you have to get up early, you go to the gym. And when, you, when you're sleeping it better, you can generally manage your stress a bit better. When you're not so stressed, it's much easier to eat well and eat healthy. But at this time, it's pretty much flipped everything on its head where, you know, you, you're now in a situation where it's like, well, can't get to the gym, so I guess I won't get to the gym. And I guess I might just watch binge watch net Netflix until, you know, yeah. late at night. And then am, yeah. you're not sleeping very well. And therefore, you get up and, you know, you haven't got the access to the food you usually be eating. Like, it's just yeah. a... That, that those spirals I think are really key to understand I think yeah. if you can just keep that positive health behavior of waking up in the morning joining in in Australian time at live stream like at a decent time early in the morning get yourself moving and get yourself into a positive sort of habit then that's going to be huge for just maintaining everything else um, yeah sleep mood stress yeah uh, nutrition that's exactly right and you made a very valid point that I talk about a lot which is you know um, one good healthy behavior uh, leads to another I call them small wins you know you you get this like small win knocked over in the morning of, of a workout of a daily dose of exercise and that the, the, you're naturally going to feel good because you've hit that win and the next small win um, you know might be to eat something a little bit more healthy than what you had plan to eat and you it just has this roll-on effect you know yeah. that really you know um, will motivate you and it will make you feel good it'll put you in a better position it'll it'll produce more um, healthy happy hormones endorphins yeah. things when like I was, that when i was working in uh doing placement in a, a subacute geriatric rehab hospital so for aged care um one of the biggest things that the nurses would really focus on happen, making sure happened and first thing in the morning was getting the people who are in hospital who are, you know, stuck in hospital for, they were generally there for three weeks, which is pretty similar to the amount of time that, you know, the likely lockdowns will at least be sort of that long. And one of the biggest things they did was 
get the people out of the morning, um, bed in the morning and ha give them a shower because if they didn't have a shower and they just sort of sat there and they just, you know, sat there in the, their um, bed clothes, then there was no way that they were going to get up and, and do anything for themselves. But if you got up, had a shower, like that was, and got them in, like got dressed, like that was kind of enough just to <coughs> then yep. kickstart the kind of process of getting on with the day. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. And this is something that I, um, I've included in my uh, routine for a long time, um, which is that the first thing that I do, the first win that I look for in the morning is to make my bed. And I know that that sounds really obscure and unrelated to what we're talking about, but it, it, it is really about this process of this, this concept of, you know, um, one little thing leads to another slightly bigger thing, leads to another slightly bigger thing, and it just rolls on and rolls forward. And, you know, Rad and I have these routines in the morning where we meditate and we read our affirmations. And, you know, mine starts with making my bed, and then I go out and I have an ice-cold shower, which really invigorates me. Then I sit down and I meditate for 10 minutes using a meditation app from Sam Harris, and then I read my daily affirmations. And by the end of that, I then um, flick in my headphones and I I listen to either a podcast or a motivational reel or uh, an audio book that I'm listening to what might be a YouTube video I just listen to it on the way to work uh, which is about 10 minutes but I listen to everything on 1.5 speed so it's um, it's a, I get a lot more content crammed in but th by the time I get to work I have like completely primed myself for the the mindset that I want to be in when I walk through the door and I've, I've ticked a whole bunch of boxes there you know um, which uh, would include the exercise that I'm getting I know that you jog to work but um, uh, I just do a brisk walk because I enjoy the time where I'm getting a bit of yeah, content and I think in. it's important to like contrast to that to like what I think you know I've really found myself and I'm sure a lot of people are also finding that at the moment when you just every time you go to bed you're like wow I can't wait to see what the news has kind of got you know what's on the news tomorrow because everything's just changing so rapidly and it's been so easy and I've caught myself and I've had to like I went out and did the ocean swim this morning at sunrise because I was like I don't want another morning like this where I just you know open up my phone and then spend the next hour just looking at like all the shit that's happening Negative, in the world yeah. so this morning got up jumped out of bed girlfriend and I went for the sunrise ocean swim came back and I just had like such a better feeling about life than <laughs> I have yeah. for the last few days where the first thing I do is just open up and and watch yep. what's going on. So I yep. think having these kind of just these behaviors, these little wins that you can get you moving in the day instead of just, you know, getting yeah, for sure, for down sure. the spiral is just so positive. Yep. Well, should we talk a little bit about what we're doing then for the next uh, foreseeable future? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure. So today we, for those of you that are in the UMS um, online coaching program, you would have seen it. And if anybody actually saw the live stream, put a little comment there for us um, while we're here. And also those in the Unity Gym Tribe. Today we did our first live um, at live streamed workout which means that Richard and myself did the workout in real time with you guys while it was being live streamed and it's it's not just that we did a workout it's a it's a very special workout because it's a version it's the best version of the UMS program that we can do with zero equipment without anything just the just a piece of floor and a piece of wall and um, it was a kick-ass workout it took the whole thing, including the mobility warm down at the end that I did, uh, took about an hour to get done. And there, there's no like rest time, more than maybe 40 seconds or so between a set. It goes from strength to flexibility for the first um, circuit, and then it goes from cardio to uh, core conditioning for the second circuit. Although today, Wednesday, the only day we do shoulder conditioning instead of cardio. Um, and it's amazing. And what we're doing, we decided after Yanni was watching and seeing how, how well it looked and the response that we received from it, we decided that we want to help more people. And what we're going to do is we're going to start streaming these live to YouTube. So this is going to be going to YouTube every day. Anybody can join in with us, anyone around the world. And the program is, has been created where we've, we've created the program cards. We've filmed the instructional workouts, meaning this is how you do the exercises. What's going to be going to YouTube is just the follow along, not the instructional. And that will be made um, available for sale on Friday at a very, very low price. We're going to sell it for $29 and you'll get more programs added to it as the um, as this you know situation unfolds. We're going to change the program every four weeks. So for those of you that really want to double down and you want to get the tutorials, you want also 
the follow along routines to be able to be done without live streaming them that'll that'll be available for sale on friday but if you just want to jump in and join in on the follow along then um tune into youtube tomorrow we'll probably go live at around five past eight ten past eight and we'll just give people a couple of minutes to join in and get ready and then we'll get started no later than 8 15 a.m sydney time and if you know people who are at home and you know are really like they don't know what to do and, and, and could really do with some help with exercise and then please share it because I think this is just such a you know it goes beyond just uh, Absolutely. I guess like it, it's so important that people stay healthy through this time so if you know other people who you know could could do with this then um, send there, the link there's gonna be way. there's gonna be nothing out there like this and I'll say that with all honesty I notice the words I chose I didn't say this is gonna be the best thing that you can do that's a really bold statement that I don't think I can back up but I'm going to say there's gonna be nothing else out there like this because I've never seen a program that balances strength flexibility and in these workouts cardio so for those of you that are used to doing the UMS online coaching these workouts are going to have a high cardiovascular element to it so you really get the heart rate up burn calories keep the fat down keep your fitness up but and also endorphins. stimulate endorphins keep yeah, yeah for your um, for your uh, mental state you know yeah. there's, there's I've also got a kick-ass workout from yeah, it yeah there's morning. an element of the cardio that we're using in this where the, the movements that we've selected are very very specific because there's some good science out uh, where you if you if you're um, moving around in such a way that your body's bouncing you know you're doing a little bit of um, low impact plyometrics there's a, there's something that's going on deep down in there where the cells seem to be um, uh, uh, interacting with one another that is really really good for your health so didn't, we didn't, didn't it show that it reduces risk of cancer yeah. or something when you do have you heard you that study? Yeah. Um, I mean with impact it's mostly related that I know of I'm not sure about their cancer if there's any kind of cancer research but uh, with bone mineral density which when you're in a time like this it's uh, you know Really just so key yeah. to get your bone marrow. Yanni, yeah. Yanni Red showed me a study it, that was it, it only was a couple to of do years with ago. Cancer, that, yeah. that, that yeah. It was early early days research um, yeah. that was showing that um, they don't they don't know the mechanism yet. Yeah. All they think is that it's got to do just with the cells. As someone who has very loud neighbours above me and a very thin floor, <laughs> just do this at a time that's not when people <laughs> are trying to sleep. That would be my <laughs> own recommendation. Yeah. yeah exactly. Well, um, we would recommend that you don't do it in the middle of the night and irrespective of, I mean, if you're on <laughs> lockdown, then that you've, you've got, you've got, even if you were a shift worker before, some of you may be shift workers yeah. still and having to do IT and, and work remotely and all that sort of thing. And that's fine. You do it whenever you can do it. But um, I am a big believer of trying to keep a nice, healthy circadian yeah. rhythm. Um, yeah, I definitely, um, I like the idea of trying to like beat the, uh, the SARS-CoV-2 virus in that like with this coronavirus it, it the general numbers of how many people it spreads to is like for every person it infects it will then spread to at least two more and I like the idea of you know our like our ideas and our like helpfulness as a human can spread to you know two or more people so with people who are wanting to do this exercise program then it's it's free help your friends like spread to two or more people be the virus of good information yes and, and I try love and spread that. this around like i, I love it's that a, like Phil, you heard it here first <laughs> the virus of good information yeah because this, yeah. this is why phil has a permanent seat on this show you know he <laughs> spews out the shit that yanni and i can't even think of you know it's awesome. <laughs> yeah but it's just okay in this time to help each other and people need good information so if you think that what we're doing is good and i think we do some pretty good work here yeah please please share it yeah, yeah. now yeah. we're going I, I would like to say i would like to make audacious promises and say that we're having um, these guests coming on the show but we're playing it day by day here folks because the, it is a rapidly um, sort of escalating and changing and evolving situation and so we don't really know where we're going to be in a couple of days it could be that we're in lockdown here yeah, in Sydney we were too. just looking into how to do um, these live shows by video and I think because of my situation where my girlfriend is an emergency doctor and likely to be more exposed than most uh, I'll probably stop coming in from um, the end of this week so yeah we're, I'll be you know, likely being we'll be doing on. split screen. We'll drop Phil in uh, yeah. as a, as a remote. We've just upgraded our package on the software that we use to do these live streams, which has enabled us to be able to bring someone in. Yeah. Um, and you know, it may end up being. It depends how strict it becomes. Rad and I have a have a plan to get up here and still produce these daily workouts and produce the daily show. Um, and you know, they would have to have military personnel in the street to prevent us from doing that because I'm still gonna uh, we're ninjas mate you know like you, you, you'll have to be pretty quick to stop us from getting up here because we live very close um, but um, uh, so our plan is to continue and go ahead with this and keep this content rolling out uh, but if in the event that they do roll out martial law or something which I just 
can't imagine they do, um, then we will figure out a way of tapping in and, and, and coming in from, from our places of residency. Yep. Or I might even quarantine myself in the gym and set up, um, uh, set up a little um, living area here. So I can keep, still keep training. Um, yeah, so we'll just see how we go. Terrifyingly huge in a few months. Time. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. So um, I think really, guys, the take-home message from this uh, stream is that you do not know what you've got till it's gone, and um, that and and unfortunately, that's no truer than your health, you know. And um, we we don't want to take for granted how hard we've all worked to get to where we are. And if you're just starting out, how great an opportunity this is, as Rad pointed out, to make a start with something. And uh, if you're, I mean, the people that are in this group, we've got a lot of members in this group that don't have any of our programs, or definitely don't have the UMS online coaching program. This is going to be a really amazing opportunity for you guys to do something that you've never done before. This, the, the program that we do is, is very unique and it's very effective. It makes you strong and flexible in the same workout. The, and athletic. Yeah, and athletic. Yeah. Um, Fit. You are going to develop a, a balance You're going to become between superhuman. strength and flexibility that you probably haven't had before. <laughs> um, and it's, it's really, good. really effective. It really is. It kicked my ass this morning. Which means, you know, w when we wrote these programs, Yanni said, we have to write this program in a way where you and me would get a hard workout, not just where it would be designed that a beginner would get a good workout. So yeah. as a beginner, you have to scale back from what I'm doing. But even if you're somebody that's quite strong and flexible, unless you're a hell of a lot better yeah, than I am, you're going to get a good Just take those principles that we've talked about so much on how you get into new exercise. So if you haven't done anything like this before, maybe, you know, do instead the, of... Do the basic like, versions do, that I explain. Exactly. I so always explain the basic, the basic version. version. If you're not keeping up with the reps, do as many as you can in that time frame in a sort of good technique sort of way, and then keep moving on and then ramp it up as you get fitter and the more you do this, uh, yep, yeah, yep. you'll be up there So time. just quickly to recap, guys, for, for those of you in the UMS Online Coaching and our Unity Gym training, Tribe, we are going to be producing the follow along video in 1080p. Uh, we're going to film the first workouts for each, like each week. We're going to film the workout. We're going to send that off to our videographers. Uh, they're working remotely, so they're not going to. The stop tutorials working. have already been filmed and they're getting edited now, yep. so they'll be available this Friday when, when that program goes live. But just remember if anybody's unclear, what's, what, what am I getting? What am I not getting? If you just watch the stream on YouTube, you're getting the follow along workout. You can do the workout with me, but there will be very little instruction of this is how you do this exercise to get the most out of it. You'll still get a good workout, but if you don't understand exactly what it is you're doing, you definitely get a better workout if you have the, the program. And so that's what the program does. And the, yeah. program. the program is a great way of supporting these guys. Like they put so much effort into making this happen and the gym is definitely at peril. It might get closed down because of how serious this is. So yeah. if you can afford it, like it just helps out so much for, for these guys. And you know, now I've tacked on and got my seat at the table. Yeah. Um, none of it's going to me, but you know, with uh, these guys, like it's just, it would be so helpful if you can you know, pay that $29 and just help keep this alive because we're really trying to do good work here and, you know. Yeah, th it is true what Phil said. We don't um, like to harp on about this, but yeah, we are in real danger of having to close this gym if this goes bad enough um, because of the financial pressure that it puts on all the small businesses. So yeah, if yeah. you can help us out, it'd be great. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So be the virus, share it to two or more people, like yeah. really try and help out everyone you know who needs the, you know, good healthy habits while they're, while they're and get them on the YouTube And if show. they've still got a job, uh, get them to pay 29 bucks. <laughs> 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 so we can keep the doors open. Uh, uh, thanks everyone. We will, uh, we'll see you tomorrow and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow on the YouTube show. Check out what Sydney time is because it's going to be at 8, 10 a.m. Sydney, Australia time. So just get your phone and get the app that, I mean, not even the app, just the clock app that where you choose the city of the world and it tells and, you where And I've been extremely underwhelmed with the interaction on today's show. Yeah. It must mean that people don't want to see Richie doing these workouts with his shirt <laughs> off. Um, you know, you, you would have noticed he had his shirt on today. We didn't get enough interaction in yesterday's show. So uh, <laughs> I mean it, if you want to see the rig, Richie the rig, um, getting a sweat on. We'll even put some of Phil's abundance of massage oil that he's no longer using on that hot pod. Uh, get your comments in. Get your likes. Get your friends involved. We've got to get this up. We've got to get some views. We've got to get some likes. We've got to get some subscribers. We should set a benchmark and then, uh, and then um, win a, you can win a prize. You can come in and be the one yeah, that last, loops in. Our last up. prize is pretty good. Sure, there's a whole bunch of women and men out there who'd love that prize to come in and be the one to loop him up. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's wrap this up, eh?
we'll, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. We'll see Stay you tomorrow, strong, guys. guys, both in mind, body, and spirit. Let's go. Bye-bye. We are the gym that teaches people how to move instead of just exercise because we believe that health is about performance, not just body image.